any business, not only in this particular field, uh, consistency is most important and uh, the projection site is more important. Uh, the, I don't, I will not say like you have to work today, you have to work for today or you have to work for tomorrow. Any business you take, you have to work for 15 years ahead because that is the way any business will have a success. None of the business will say, oh, tomorrow I have a problem, I have to sort it. That is not a business. 15 years projection, how my business will be. Whether it is right or wrong, it doesn't matter. But the goal should be, like after 15 years, I want my company to develop in 24 branches. So how to go about it? What is the uh, goal I have? Am I meeting my goal? Am I having my investment plan? Am I having a correct, uh, right people in my hand is the most important thing in manufacturing sector or any business. Whenever you choose a uh, hire a person, ensure that they are more smarter than you. That is the most important thing which I tell my team that don't accept whatever I say. The moment my, when my employee says, when they nod head for everything, then the company will not grow. You have to defend, you have to speak, you have to ensure that their collaborative knowledge should come to founder. That is the most important thing which I feel for my team. The knowledge sharing should be good. And the second thing is time management, which is the most crucial this time. You know, most of the younger generations are not following up. The moment you say this is the time, this output is there, you have to follow that. These two things are more important. And third, I said projection is a major thing. You cannot work in business like next day, what is that? You have to see always future. Present will be there. Pa from past, we are learning present. Present will run. But to make a uh, company into bigger organization, you have to see the foresight presence. And one more thing, any business, anybody can start a business. But how to convert that business into organization is matter. Particularly in the corporate gifting, what I observed, say, uh, as I said, uh, 1980s, there are people who have started the business, but they have uh, kept only like a store. There is no development. Why there is no development means like what they do, they buy product, they sell product. They doesn't invest on people. They doesn't invest on the expansion. So those kind of people stay as a shop owners. But how you convert your business into organization means you have to touch the society first. When you give some concept or when you give some product, whether it is feasible for society, what customer needs, whether customer is happy, what kind of, the moment I sell my product, whether this product is helpful for society, can I connect with the, any CSR uh, social responsibility? So if you think all those kind of aspects, definitely your business will turn into organization. Rather than making a money, what I would like to say, build networking, that is the most important thing, build your trust, build confidence. That is, these three major thing if you do, your business will turn into good. Uh, I would not say that they have to take a major course or something. If they, have, they are good in business management, they can do. As an entrepreneur, you should have a knowledge in everything, basic knowledge, like what kind of design, what kind of software you can buy for your company. So all these basic knowledges if you have that would be better and if you see the trend of uh, corporate gifting varied from uh, different different scenario as i said initially 1980s itself this business got started and now it, we are into 2022 what is the difference if you see uh, those time people are not into uh, habit of spending money for gifting how many people would have spent money for gifting if you ask okay i can say 20 percent of people are really okay I can spend for gifting but now the trend has changed completely because they see gifting is a part of emotion gifting is a part of a brand like i give it it speaks about my brand so that trend has come now so, so basically what happens from traditional 1980s and all if you see there will be hardly a clock structure or any uh, montage uh, frame like black and white frame you don't have an options. You will give lunch boxes, even though now we are giving, but we are giving into modernized lunch boxes. If you see uh, the Vaya and all, they come out of with modern lunch boxes. So like that corporate gifting itself, we come out of with different, different styles, small, small magnets, you know, the user, user friendly, like uh, if you have a mobile, how to keep a mobile in mobile holders. So what is the difference happen is we were more into user friendly needs, like what customer need. And uh, when we gift, whether the, this gift is going to be in table or whether they are, this gift is going to use for them. So we are more concerned on the usability factor. And the, if you see the younger generation, they also buy gift for purpose. Nobody is buying something without purpose, right? Which like as I said, 1980s, they buy a gift, they give. I don't think so. There might be a concept or anything, any function, they will buy a gift and they will give. 
but 2022 now at present generation we can see they are more into user friendly and they want a purpose of for the design so design gifting variation have been tremendously improved in terms of satisfaction in terms of proper usage of the product Thank you.